I it's love the hard, stuff that she I said think. about not being happy yeah. all the time. Like there's a part that I just opened up to about when she goes to a, a 12 step program and she's like, Oh, I feel terrible. I'm, you know, I'm just six days sober and I feel like shit and whatever. And the woman comes up and she's like, thank you for sharing. I relate. And she's like, I want to tell you something. somebody told me in the beginning, yeah. it's okay to feel all the stuff you're feeling. You're just becoming human again. You're not doing life wrong. You're doing it right. If there's any secret you're missing, it's that doing it right is just really hard. Feeling mm-hmm. all your feelings is hard, but that's what they're for. Feelings are for feeling, all of them. Mm-hmm. And she, re- I mean, it goes on in lots of different sections talking about your birthright isn't, there's so much like focus on happiness, mm-hmm. like for us, but also for our kids. And mm-hmm. this resonated for me with my kids and for me as a parent that a lot of the time it's like, oh, they're unhappy, like make it better, make it better, make it better. Mm-hmm. Instead of like allowing them to go through that and then to have the experience that she had where she says, and on the next page, the first revelation she had about is I can feel everything and survive. What I thought would kill me didn't. Every time I said to myself, I can't take this anymore. I was wrong. The truth was that I could and did take it all. And I kept surviving. Yes. Called resilience. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's called resilience and you can't build resilience in a vacuum. You, ha- you can only build resilience by feeling all those bad feelings. I think we forget that. In my parenting life today, we're struggling with orthodontics with Isla. She's done. She's ready to get out of braces, but she's not finished. She has six months left and a nasty appliance that has to be installed in her mouth. And she's coming undone about it. And uh, my philosophy is that you parent her through the undone and get, the, get, it, get it done. And her dad has been about taking care of her emotions, which is valid also. But at this point, he's putting off the inevitable so that he doesn't have to make her feel the pain. And today I said to him, I think we've been indulgent enough. We have indulged her fear, her anxiety, her worry, her anger about this. I mean, the child, the orthodontist said to her, No one should ever have to have this much much orthodonture, but your skull was structurally in such bad shape that you had to, and it stinks, and it's not fair, but this is where we are, and we are almost at the finish line. Let's just finish, and Bert's like, let's not tell her today that she's moving on, and I'm like, I'm so done with that. We we placated her, and we gave her what she asked for, which was more information from the orthodontist, so now we're going to move forward, and he is so afraid of her having to feel those feelings that he will, he will put it off and leave me to deal with it entirely, and I keep thinking we are not doing her any favors. We're not doing her any favors. By you're also not doing Leanne any. No, well, favors. that's par for the fucking course <laughs> with that guy. But uh, you know, he will avoid any kind of negative emotion at all costs, which is the point. Uh, you would hope that you would want a child to look at the path ahead and say, "This is going to suck, and I can handle it." <laughs> 